हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इंजीनियरिंग टॉप ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ बेरिंग एनी वन यूजिंग अ बाइसिकल और रोलर स्केट्स मस्ट हैव नोटिस द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बॉल बेरिंग्स दैट मेक द मोशन ऑफ द व्हील्स इन दिस टू डिवाइसेस वेरी स्मूथ बेसिकली अ बेरिंग इज अ मैकेनिकल एलिमेंट दैट परमिट्स रिलेटिव मोशन बिटवीन टू पार्ट्स और वी कैन से इट्स समथिंग दैट बेयर्स अप द लोड एंड येट रोटेट्स The construction of bearing consists of outer rays, inner rays, and a rolling element lying between them. Most mechanical devices make use of one or the other type of bearings for the spinning parts. Considering shaft transmitting power supported at both ends, if the distance between both ends is large, then the shaft will experience torsional and bending stress. If a bearing is used for such a shaft then it will support and hold the shaft in correct position the bearing will ensure free rotation with minimum friction and also it will take up the forces that act on the shaft and transmit them to the frame or the foundation bearings are classified depending upon their shapes and sizes and also according to the motions they allow and their load bearing capacities There are many types of bearings but the most common are roller bearings and ball bearings. Rest of the classification is given below. In this tutorial we are going to discuss the rolling element bearing. Rolling element bearings or rolling contact bearings are those bearings which use elements such as balls or rollers to avoid sliding contact. These bearings are classified based on the type of rolling element used. Number 1 ball bearing Ball bearings are extremely common because they can handle both radial and thrust loads but can only handle a small amount of weight. They are found in a wide array of applications such as roller blades and even hard drives but are prone to deforming if they are overloaded. Number 2 roller bearings Roller bearings are designed to carry heavy loads. The primary roller is a cylinder which means the load is distributed over a large area enabling the bearing to handle larger amount of weight roller bearings are used in application where large load is to be borne for example in conveyor belts where rollers must bear heavy radial loads this structure however means the bearing can handle primary radial loads but is not suited to thrust loads roller bearings are further classified based on the type of rolling element used as cylindrical taper and barrel type The cylindrical type roller bearings are designed with heavy loads in mind. This bearing is able to distribute a load over large area and carry heavy weights, but they are not made to handle thrust loads. Tapered roller bearings use conical rollers that run on conical races. Both the inner and outer raceways are segments of cones and the rollers are also made with a taper. This helps them to support both radial and axial loads. Because of the conical geometry of tapered roller bearings which provide a larger contact patch they are able to carry greater loads as compared to spherical or ball bearings tapered roller bearings are used in the wheel bearings of mostly trucks buses cars and so on due to manufacturing complexities tapered roller bearings are generally more expensive than ball bearings number 3 needle roller bearing needle roller bearings are ideal for applications where high radial load carrying capacity is required but radial space is limited such bearings also suit applications where high rotational speed is involved but cannot accommodate axial load needle bearings are primarily used in engine components like pumps compressors rocket arm pivots and transmission quick review bearing a bearing is a mechanical element it is a sliding or rolling component which is used to reduce friction in a machine rolling element bearing rolling element bearing or rolling contact bearing are those bearings which use elements such as balls or rollers to avoid sliding contact they are classified as ball bearing roller bearing and needle bearing the roller bearings are further classified as cylindrical bearing tapered bearing and barrel bearing the advantages of rolling element bearings are reduced vibrations reduced shaft bending the stresses are reduced the noise is reduced and also the low transmission is very smooth applications of rolling element bearing cylindrical roller bearings are widely used in conveyor belts turbine engine machine shafts transmissions and gear boxes needle roller bearings are widely used in engine components like pumps 
compressors, rocker arm pivots and transmission. Tapered roller bearings are used in the wheel bearings of mostly trucks, buses and cars.